Right, we're leaving Key Largo now. It's about 96 miles from Key Largo to Key West, so it should be about a two-hour drive. Yes, um, and on our way there, we see some interesting things. We'll stop and um, take you along with us. All right, let's All right. go. This is Robbie's in Isla Morada and as you can see there are lots of shops, there is a restaurant, there is also water sports like paragliding, boating, fishing, kayaks and what have you and um, one of the main attractions is feeding the tarpons. So maybe it's a tourist trap, but um, nevertheless, um, it was entertaining. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. We get two entrances on the bucket, please. Perfect. And the pelicans are being extra naughty. They know it's in the bucket, and they both try to steal. Just stomp your foot. Dude. It's a person. Just yeah. walk towards him. He'll fly off. Just walk. See? Beautiful and pleasant drive along the Seven Miles Bridge. Look at the water, it is so beautiful. Beautiful shades of blues and greens. Um, you have the Atlantic to the left and the Gulf of Mexico to the right. Sometimes you might even see dolphins, but um, this time we weren't so lucky. We're here. So, this is our room. We had to reach in the Key West. Let's take a look around. As you can see, it's a nice, very fresh room. Clean lines. Really modern as well. Nice and airy. So this is a king studio room. So we have one king bed, some sitting areas. I like the furniture. Nice and modern furniture as well. And let's take a look around inside the 
bathroom. It's a little bit small, but it's nice and clean. Clean lines. Then you have the shower here, the crab tree, some wall art, or a small closet. Really, really like the, the room. Then let's take a look and see uh, what type of room view do we have. This is a resort view. As you can see some board games down and the pool is in the area nice palm tree so nice and airy let's go take a look around the resort This is a courtyard. You have a uh, giant chest, lots of sitting areas everywhere. It's very green. You've got a lazy man just chilling. And then, if you look around, you can see the beach in the distance and lots of seated areas you can just uh, hang out at. Don't forget, three rum bars apart to maintain your distance and then some more games that you can partake in. So now, we're just walking um, to dinner. Yeah, we're on our way to dinner and um, we're walking on Truman Street and it's very unique little street, very cozy. It has a lot of unique um, homes and uh, boutique hotels. It's a little bit more quiet than the downtown area. Yeah, it's nice. Really like it. We are here. Um, yep. Finally at the restaurant. It's called Seven Fish. All right. So we're gonna enter Seven Fish. This is a wild mushroom quesadilla and it has brie cheese. It's very tasty. It's good. I am. So I am having a homemade noki and it does come with mahi mahi and a very nice sauce. And I'm having a Thai curry a yellow, yellowtail snapper. With coconuts, right? Yep, and broccoli. And broccoli, some, broccoli, veg some yeah. veggies. Yep, it looks everything delicious. looks very good. But it was just When in Key West, must, must, must partake in key lime pie. Absolutely. True to form, we cannot skip the morning run. So one of the favorite things to do while on vacation or even being at home is um, running, but it's even more special on vacation. Um, this was a very beautiful and scenic run. Um, we ran all the way from our hotel to Fort Zachary National Park. So we uh, took a run down to Fort Zachary Historic uh, State Park so it's an area that you can come down to and relax 
as you can see some folks setting up a table over there you have a, a nice beach really really relaxed area got some cooking areas as well so yeah that's what it looks like Point. really beautiful these homes some of them are um, attached and some are detached homes and we have some that looks like it could be apartments as well it's really very very beautiful there are these trees that kind of envelop the street and it creates this shade on the sidewalk and on the road as well and some of the trees are so manicured so it's a very beautiful area so, time for some breakfast. I have a, a continental breakfast with some pastries, a fruit bowl, overnight oats. And then what are you having on? This um, avocado toast with scrambled eggs. Well done. Okay. Looks good. And then check out the view. The Val Street is the center of Old Town and was absolutely full of life and character. Lots of restaurants, bars, a variety of shops, live entertainment, there are art galleries, there are souvenirs, what have you. Um, just really nice time walking up and down the street. You can see roosters kind of roaming the place and also within the shops as well. Um, you know, you can stop, you can have ice cream or coffee or a meal. Uh, maybe you can try that key lime pie while you people watch. So the buildings were just really, really beautiful. And each has their own personality, like the Walgreens building. I'm sure there's a story there, but I believe it was an old theater. There's a hard rat building that was really cool as well. Um, the trolley and the bus you can hop on and up off as well um, but we will we walked we walked the entire time and um, you know it was just something to do while um, here in Key West there is a mass mandate at this time that of the video um, you know and I think some persons were were good with masks and then you'll see others that weren't wearing their masks but uh, we were wearing ours Look at this cutesy Walgreens here on Duval Street. Very ornate and unique. around Duval Street and right around the corner to Mallory Square we stumbled along this beautiful looking Cuban restaurant and the entrance looks pretty amazing so we had to stop to kind of show you Yellow 
tail snapper and it does come with some yellow rice and sweet plantains and I believe black beans as well we also have tostones those are like plantains smashed green plantains we got some conch fritters they're known for conch fritters in this region so I had to try them and the loaded um, nachos with plantains so check out the wall art very eclectic I just love this um, atmosphere really nice this is guava bread pudding. Never had guava bread pudding before, so interesting to see how it's gonna taste. Check out the Walgreens building at night. Isn't it so beautiful? It's even better at night than it is during the daytime. Love it. So we're at 
the southernmost point in the continental US and it's about what 90 miles from here you can arrive to Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. We're leaving Key West. So on our way to Miami and um, you know it was a great stay. But we're saying goodbye. And as we drive towards Miami, we'll stop at some interesting sites. Alright, let's see what we'll find. Yep. <laughs> stopped um, in Miranda Beach to have we're having a cocktail yes, cheers cheers but you can also have lunch here this is Isla Morada area mm -hmm. and this cafe is a private cafe and it's located on this beautiful white sand beach and it's very nice scenery it has lots of palm trees around the water is beautiful and folks are just outside chilling because it's actually a really really nice day today perfect weather yeah, it's really really nice. It's um, nice and relaxing out in the open air. The views are spectacular. 